Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to make a file in the same directory that you're currently working in, in Vim. And uh, the command is right here, so if you already know exactly what this command does, then you're done, don't worry about it. Also, if you prefer a blog post, I'll have one linked in the description, because some people prefer those. I don't, I like watching videos, but some people like blog posts better. I've got a file called main, a directory called methods, and then uh, a few files inside of it. Uh, so let's just open this up right here and uh, So you've got your main file like this and a few methods like that. Okay now Let's say I'm working in this slack method or the slack uh, File and I decide I want to make another file in This directory. How can I go about doing that? Okay, so your first thought might be uh, And this is, this is what I normally do. I'm gonna jump into net rw uh, I don't use nerd tree, don't at me. Uh, I'm going to, you know, hit uh, percent sign to create a new file. Uh, we're going to call this uh, new method is going to be uh, pigeon. It's going to be our new way of delivering things. And then I'm going to write whatever I have to write here. Uh, I guess I would just write pigeon here. Uh, that's that works. That's fine. That's what I used to do. That's a little bit slow. So let's uh, get rid of pigeon here and try something else. Now you can go into command mode. Right, so hit colon, go into command mode, hit W to write, and now I could write pigeon, uh, pigeon.txt, but it's not here. And if you know how Vim works, you'll know exactly where it is right now because, yeah, it's down here in my uh, in my root directory, right? So when I opened up Vim, I was in this directory code message sender. So if I just do W and I don't give it a path, it's going to assume we got to put it in the root directory and that's not what I want. Okay, so I was looking for a way to uh, be able to create these things in the in the root directory. Let me delete that one. Sorry, rather, I want to create these in the directory that I'm actually working in here. So uh, so again, I'm, I'm in this directory, I'm working on Slack. I want to, without jumping into netrw, I want to create a file that lives right here. Okay, so here's what you can do. So th this is, this is the, the big reveal, which I already revealed at the beginning. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into command mode with colon. I'm going to hit W. Okay, that's right. Now I'm going to use percent colon H. This was confusing to me. I actually asked on Reddit, how does this work? Uh, some people were really awesome. They explained it to me and they showed me where I could find more in the uh, Vim manual. So I'll link that as well. Uh, but let me explain what this is doing. So percent percent uh, refers to the current file. You've probably seen this a few times in Vim. Didn't, didn't, I, would, I didn't clue into that that is what was happening here. Percent refers to the current file. Okay, great, so I'm currently in this uh, Slack file. So percent refers to this file. Um, but now I've got colon H, and what does that do? So that is going to say, get me everything up to uh, the file name, right? So we're gonna get uh, the main directory and then methods and then stop right there, right? Okay, so uh, at that point then essentially let me exit out of here Okay, so you'll have your root directory and then you'll have uh, methods here and Then not even the slash. That's what you have when you put that colon uh, H there. Okay, so let's do it again So percent colon H That's essentially what I have there now anything after anything I put after here will be interpreted literally uh, unless it's another special character, which it won't be in this case. So I'm going to put a slash and now we're going to put pigeon and hit enter. And look, a new file has been written. Wonderful. And where is it? It's right here. There. Okay. I've got a new file. Now, if you look at methods pigeon, you'll notice it says send by slack. Why does it say send by slack? The reason is that I was in this directory here and I said, I want to write. Okay. Um, I want to write this buffer, right? I want to write this buffer to this location. So if I put dog like that, same thing. There we go. I have it in dog now as well. Okay, so when is something like this useful? For me, I find this really useful when I'm working on a large project and there's a lot of files in one directory that maybe it's a class that implements one method and every class is nearly identical, but there's a little bit of changes in each one, right? So this is the example I have here, methods, right? Maybe delivery methods. Uh, and so instead of going out, creating a new file, right, uh, and then going and copying and pasting everything, which is a bit of a hassle. So all I need to do is go into command mode, W, percent, colon, H, and then whatever the name of it's going to be. This time, let's say camel. And uh, 
there we go I've got it send by camel and then I would obviously change this into camel wondered can I get a camel emoji I can oh a dromedary camel and I saw a Bactrian camel as well there we go okay anyway it's ridiculous so now maybe you're wondering okay but why not just use nerd tree or LF or some kind of file manager the reason is that this first of all is going to work no matter where I am um, so if I'm SSH'd into some server or I'm in a docker container uh, this is going to work for me right and so it's uh, something that I can rely on the other thing is that um, like this uh, every little piece that you learn here is something that you can transfer to somewhere else in Vim right so colon H is not the only uh, way of you know sort of modifying the file there are other things there's colon T colon P I believe and uh, I don't know them all, but as I start, you know, putting them together, you can kind of combine them and uh, you don't end up relying on an external tool, which may not be there. You get to rely on the building blocks of the system that you intend on spending the rest of your life with, I guess. If you know a better way of doing this, please let me know. Uh, I'm always looking to learn. And uh, yeah, if I got anything wrong, let me know. I'll throw it in the comments, throw it in the comments and I'll make sure to like, you know, heart it so people can see that uh, there are better ways of doing things. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.